Element number nine is the incident investigation. OSHA 1910.119M. Books have been written on different ways to properly conduct a proper incident investigation. For the purpose of this training, we will keep it simple and focused only on the minimum requirement as set forth by the PSM RMP regulations. You must investigate each incident which resulted in or could have reasonably resulted in a catastrophic release of highly hazardous chemical. You must initiate the investigation as soon as possible, but no later than 48 hours of the incident occurring. An incident investigation team shall be established and consists of at least one person that is knowledgeable of the process involved. The team must also include a contract employee if the incident involved the work of a contractor. And it must also include other persons with appropriate knowledge and experience to thoroughly investigate and analyze the incident. A report must be prepared at the conclusion of the investigation to document the findings. The report must include the following at a minimum. Date of the incident, date the investigation began, a description of the incident, factors contributing to the incident, and any recommendations resulting from the investigation. You must develop a system to promptly address and resolve the incident report findings and recommendations. Resolution and corrective actions shall be documented. The report shall be reviewed with all of the affected personnel whose job tasks are relevant to the incident findings, including contract employees where applicable. Incident investigation reports shall be retained for five years.